Water levels in our region are highly influenced by rainfall, and rainfall is the source of water to all of our district's lakes, rivers, and aquifers. On average, the district receives about 53 inches of rain a year, and a large portion of this rainfall evaporates back up to the atmosphere while some of it soaks into the ground and refills our aquifer. What doesn't evaporate or infiltrate into the ground flows across the land to a lower elevation, and sometimes it ends up flowing into a river, causing that river to rise. Other times it'll collect in an isolated low area called a closed basin, where it's got nowhere to drain after that. And so let's look a little closer at those two scenarios. If it rains enough on the land, water will run off higher areas and collect in lower lying areas. We see this often. But if it keeps raining, that water level can continue to rise, eventually impacting homes or businesses. And for closed basins like this, there's nowhere for the water to go, except to evaporate or infiltrate into the ground. But during periods of heavy rainfall, groundwater levels can also be high, preventing that. Another example is heavy rainfall within a river basin. If we get enough rain flowing off the land into our rivers, those rivers can rise out of bank and flood adjacent low-lying lands. Then, when the river naturally recedes, those closed basins have floodwaters that are trapped with nowhere to drain. This is why weeks or even months after a heavy rainfall, we may still see standing water in certain areas, even if it hasn't rained in a long time.